check out my new toy. Yeah. I bought this miter saw is because I wanted to do more calligraphy on wood so what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting these boards basically the same size as the chikichi boards that I use they're about 12 inches by 10 inches and they are premium pine woods and I've had them all sanded and all perfectly cut that's what I needed this guy over here and then what I'm doing with these boards I'm cutting a bunch of those is that I'm brushing the calligraphy right on the board and I'm putting these so that they're ready to hang. And I'm planning on putting these up on my SC shop at some point. I'm making just a bunch of them now just for testing. And hopefully sell those first. See how that goes. See what the reception is. See if people like it. I really like it. I like it even probably better than the Shikishi board because they're just ready to hang. And I really like how the ink looks on the wood. So this is my new project. I've been spending some time on it lately. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting more of these as I do more. Oh, what a mess. Those are a few more of the wood calligraphies that I'm working on. So I'm pretty excited about that. And so the studio is kind of a mess right now because I'm getting ready for a seminar that I have in Brooklyn this weekend. And since I'm committed to making at least one a video a week while I'm working on my uh, Learn Shodo Advanced Techniques course, which is almost completed, I wanted to make this video really quickly because I honestly I just don't have enough time to work on the on the course plus get ready for the seminar this weekend but this month of April I'm doing what I like to call April daily kanji and it's a 30-day challenge that I do myself and I do with some of the students that are part of my introductory online course what it is is just a simple 30-day challenge where you brush one kanji every day for the month of April no matter what that's the key of this practice is that you're committed to practice at least once a week i brush a kanji some of my students brush a calligraphy multiple kanjis i don't really care i mean just at least at least you brush something once every day for the entire month of april but again the key component is that you have to do it no matter what no excuses there is no i don't have time there is i don't feel like it there isn't um, I'm sick. I don't know. There, there's just no excuses. No matter what you do, one kanji at least every day for the month of April. What this does to me, when I did it last year for the first time, and if you want to go to here on my YouTube channel, go check out the playlist August Daily Kanji. I did that last, last year twice. One for April, one for August. But in August, I also did not only a kanji every day, but I also did a video every day for the month of April. Kind of like a vlog style video. Now for April, I'm not doing a video because I'm committed to try to do a video every week. So trying to do a daily video will kind of mess things up for me right now, but I'm still doing one kanji every day. The main purpose of this challenge is to force you to do something every day for at least 30 days. And I've heard somewhere that if you do something for 21 straight days, it becomes a habit. And the big problem that a lot of people have when they start any practice, whether it's calligraphy or training martial arts or sitting in meditation or whatever, is that they just don't keep it up. They start and they don't keep it up. I do it all the time. I started running and then I didn't keep it up. And I started exercising and then I didn't keep it up. So, and then I go back and forth. I exercise, I don't exercise. I run, I don't run. So the reason for that is because you don't do it every single day for at least 21 days. After that 21 day mark, it becomes a habit. So if we do a 30 day challenge when you have to practice calligraphy once a day for 30 days, hopefully at the end of the 30 days, practicing calligraphy is a habit and you'll keep it up. You'll maintain your practice. It'll become part of you. It'll become part of your routine. It'll become part of what you do on a daily basis, what you, what, who you are. And that is the most important thing that I can tell for people that want to maintain their practice on anything that they do is that it has to become part of who you are. If it's something that you do on the side, you won't keep it up. So I'm super excited because this year for this April Daily Kanji, I have a lot of students participating on my uh, intro course. So I'm really glad to see them challenge themselves and me challenging them because they see my Kanji and then I, they know I'm expecting there for the one who said that they're going to uh, practice every day. So if you want to follow my Kanji for the month of April, just follow me on Instagram under the hashtag April Daily Kanji. I'll be posting every day all my Kanjis that I do on April. Now, because I'm doing April daily kanji, 
what today's calligraphy for this video is going to be is the calligraphy that I'm planning to brush in today for April Daily Kanji. <laughs> 